Daisy, Amy, Moo, Galbatty, whatever you prefer to be called. Brandy doesn't know where her child is, doesn't know what happened to her child, has been grieving for her child all this time, and is put in a position where she feels she actually has to come onto a panel to verbally ask you for respect of her child. We're talking about somebody who every day, every minute, her child is not there. I hope nobody ever loses a child, but I will tell you this. It's just not over when you all think it's over. Had she even gotten to the point where, you know, the general public would consider it closure, it's not closure to a mother. Everything in your life, every minute, that baby is on your mind. So moving on. So with all that emotion... She maintains a job, she maintains her household, she maintains her other children. Unlike the specimens you like to stand by. S.A. is not mentioned with Brandy's child. Because Brandy is not associated with kin to are self-admittedly anything near S.A. Before she got on your panel, she obviously has seen and heard things that extremely hurt her in reference to her child from your channel. And I'm going to assume, because I have no way of possibly knowing this, but I'm going to assume... It was multiple times before she contemplated approaching you. Because she seems like the kind of person who wouldn't want to jump to a rash decision. So she probably had to think about it. Like, did you mean it intentionally? Was it an accident? Was it just you did not have the knowledge to comprehend that it was disrespectful? She did the equation. She came to her decision. And she very very respectively brought it to your attention asked you specifically not to do one thing which was associating her child's name with any storyline that had to do with S.A. Not only did you not immediately say, I'm so sorry, I did not realize I will make a conscious effort to make sure if, if the, the, the show's title isn't even anything like that, but that conversation shifts to that, I will make sure that doesn't happen again. I'm sorry, Brandy. Right, side note, Brandy, Neil. I am extremely sorry that any of this happened. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, I'm um, a grieving mother, and I can't imagine what it'd be like in your situation, which both are hard, but I think yours is harder, and I apologize, and I pray for you every day. Now back to Daisy. You flailed up at her, raised your voice, Got your, I don't give a fuck because I need to make money tone. And then you went and let 
your cash cow. Try to inflict further damage to her. And although every video or live you have ever done, and if you look anywhere on these YouTubian streets, you see people referring to the fact that not only the people on your panel, but you over talk everybody. Even when you have a special guest or whatever, you over talk people so nobody really knows what's being said or how to interact with it on a daily. But you sat there dead silent. And you let that man not only finish a sentence, which is not in your characteristics, but berate her, tried to play psychological warfare with her, and you never said a fucking word. Until you started with, okay, Brandy, fine. I won't show his picture or run his name anymore. You disgusting fucking pig. I don't know why anybody calls you a cow because you're a pig. You're a swine. To do, I mean, what is wrong with you that you would do that to a person? Like, seriously. Have, have you had a mental evaluation? I mean, everybody laughs and jokes and, and some people take it, you know, honestly offensive the way you treat your sister and everybody else. But to the best of my knowledge, your sister is not trying to overcome some astronomically huge trauma that didn't just happen. It continues every day to happen to her. Every day it is like Groundhog Day for Brandy Neal in reference to her child. And you didn't think twice about going for the juggler. And you let your self-proclaimed child raping frequently visiting places where children are for sale for sex and says it just as I would say past the sugar. And you don't bat a fucking eye. I don't give a shit who comes at me this time. Who says, you know, the shit that comes out my mouth is just, you know, bat shit crazy? I got two things to say to that. Just about everything that I have said that everybody jumped on me for saying is front and center now, right? And I got a hunch, and based on that statement, I'm going to go with my hunch because I, I've been on. I've been on. And you? Don, Candace, your husband, and a lot of other people came up with this scam. And that's all it is to you. You don't care about any of your subs, which most of are of an elder age. So they're on a fixed income. They're lonely or whatever, and they feel some kind of kindred spirit on your panel and you exploit the shit out of them every friggin' day and there's no no decency on how much you extract from these people like you know they just donated a hundred dollars last night they're on a fixed income they're telling you they're like you know going through these horrendous times, you know, not only the isolation of COVID, but, you know, old people and nowadays younger people aren't, aren't real family oriented. So these older people are pretty much alone. And you convinced them you were their friend. And you repeatedly whipped them essentially with the I need I'm in peril. I gotta have this, this, or this, or I'm in imminent danger.
and they do the one thing that you have implied they could do to help you out of these situations. Which, of course, it's always monetary. And you don't even give a fuck. You don't give a fuck about Brandy. You don't give a fuck about your subs. You don't give a fuck about your sister. Your husband. There's just you. And only you. And if anybody is not centrally centered on you, they're a bad person. Third this, third that. You say some of the god awfulest, horrendous things about people that you were friends with a week prior. And you think you're justified. You're indignant. You lack intelligence you have no empathy oh and you're a liar about your SA because see like I keep saying and, and while you're accusing me of all kinds of shit that I've never done never thought of doing and honestly I don't even know how to but I was on your channel for a long time we've had what I thought were personable conversations about some serious life events when you initially came out I felt very comfortable going there you were probably one of the only ones I went to you and non a matter of fact ain't that weird how that turned out but um you started out it was like sitting on the front porch at the end of the day drinking tea just having casual banter with people it was very comfortable it was entertaining you were making money, though. You, you were making money. And then... The real you. Like, you know, my girlfriends will be crying. I don't know why he's been so mean. I, you know, I just want the nice guy to come back now. See, there was never the nice guy. There was just the fucking jerk-off. Putting on a facade to make you think it was a nice guy. To lure you in. To set the hook. You're a scam artist from the door. You're despicable. And stop saying stuff about God. The Bible. Making. Falsified Christian assessment of individuals because you by far are anything but a Christian and you're going to stand for it two things are going to happen in your future Daisy the wells are going to find another outlet for source one that's more profitable to them than you are currently because, you know, starting to drizzle off over there. It's not so easy to get the large amounts anymore. You have to, you know, in their opinion, put in work, which, you know, really just entails talking to a couple of people for a few minutes and they can't even do that nicely. And you let it go on time and time and time again. When they move on to their new source, it's going to leave you on your platform like you are in real life. A hollow knoll of any positive attributes piece of fucking shit. Now there's a third thing, but that's just I'm hopeful. When all said and done, I don't usually wish ill on anybody, 
but you're special. Not only do I hope you lose your platform on this app, I hope you are personally held responsible for every fucking penny that you laundered through this app. Doesn't matter who donated it, to who. You solicited it. You laid down the format. And you, by the trust that you had built with your subs, exploited them. Now go use your little computer to figure out the legalities of that. And I hope you get every bit of what you earned. You're despicable. I, I don't know if you have children. Well, obviously you have children because you have a grandchild at your house who's, you know, target age for Candace. But hey, come on over, Candy Panties. Because we're going to put out the cash app. Much like I am right now with this video and you, your subs are done with you. The general public's done with you. And I hope the law is just going to start with you.